uh, it's pretty big. You know, it's always exciting to go home. Um, big game for me, playing against a, you know, Texas was a last school in my top two. I you know, decided to go here. Best decision I've ever made in my life. You know, going back home to play some guys that I know and grew up with is going to be exciting. Uh, no, nah, no, no talking this week. Our business. What about this matchup? It's been 50 years, I think, we were talking about since you guys were going on the road to face the top 10 opponent as a top 10 team. Mm -hmm. You just don't come around very often. You know, but this year, you know, coaches preach one day at a time, one practice at a time, one game at a time. So we cheat in every game big. You know, this is just another opponent in our way, and, and I know we're preparing for it. What about that offense? You kind of see something similar in practice every day. Does that help prepare you for this moment? Most definitely. It's a lot of carryover. You know, we have a very high-powered offense, as you can see. And um, Texas runs a lot of, the, you know, the things that our guys run. So being able to go against this high-powered offense that we have here at LSU is really setting up and preparing us to play Saturday. How much of a benefit is it that they're running the spread now, you know, as opposed to more of a power run game that you guys have in the past? But now you kind of can see this, even when you're not working in the scout team, when you're just working against a good little kid. I mean, it, it put up 55 points, you know. I mean, that speaks for itself. So, you know, we, everybody's happy. You know, we're spreading the ball around. I mean, I, almost every receiver in our receiving court caught a pass Saturday. And, you know, at, you have an offense like that, who wouldn't want to play it? Did your phone blow up after the game? People are like... I mean, we you know we've been talking about it. Everybody's been saying, you know, we're going to change the offense, we're going to change the offense. Um, really, that just put the icing on the cake, so there's no more questions. Okay, when that offense was really going during fall camp, what was the toughest part of trying to get that in practice? Um, just the tempo, you know, um, you know, it was different for us, you know, having a switching, you know, last year we didn't practice against a team like that. That tempo was, was quick. After each play, they're lining up, you know, what they call war. And so just the tempo, matching the tempo. But, you know, through fall camp, I can say that that, that prepared us on defense. You know, we, we're ready to go. We're prepared for everything. How does Texas look different from, say, some SEC teams that you guys might regularly see? Um, not, not too much, actually. You know, they have high-powered athletes just as we do in this conference. And they have a good quarterback. They have nice receivers. So, you know, we, we're treating them just as if they're an SEC team because they definitely have the players to be. Is there a different offensive philosophy at all with how they maybe go side to side more than downhill? Is there anything that stands out to you on tape? Um, they're definitely a side to side team. You know, it's a little bit more than SEC. You know, SEC is a lot of downhill, you know, guys getting down the field. But, you know, that just helps us, benefits us. When you're facing a run threat at the quarterback spot, your position would be look at different keys. Do things change a lot for you? Not necessarily, man. We defense, we run prayers just for everything. So, pocket passer, dual threat quarterbacks, we are ready for it all. What about Sam Ellinger in this game? Uh, he's kind of a big, a big runner, a power runner for them. Big kid, you know. He, he's uh, decent in the running game. Also, can get you with his arm. Uh, but I think this defense will be ready. Sherry, it's a little bit different of a question, but your barber TJ. I mean, how long have you been going to him, and how nice is it to be out with a guy like that? Uh, it's pretty cool, man. Um, you know, so you first come here. That's the first thing I'm big on is I gotta have my hair cut every week. Is, it's a showcase for me. So, um, you know, they introduced me to TJ and TJ Draft Picks Barbershop has cut all the guys that have come before me to Davis White, Jamal and Adams. So, I mean, it's just tradition. That's what we're big on here at LSU. That's tradition. And, uh, TJ is definitely a part of that tradition. You see that tradition also. Jerseys and stuff on the wall. You trying to get your jersey up there as well? Uh, yeah, I got my picture up there. The jersey is definitely next, so I'm working on that. Did you take an official to uh, Texas? Uh, I definitely did with Caleb Von Chase on. Um, and me and Caleb Von, we, we talk about it, we laugh about it uh, to this day. You know, um, just as mine, it was one of his top two schools. And I remember getting Coach O on the phone, and I told him I was going to take the visit with him to make sure that we got him here. And, and I succeeded. What's that uh, environment like there? Um, it's UT, big football school, just as we are here. You know, um, you know, but playing in Death Valley, I know that our guys are prepared. We're very excited. I'm very excited. But you know, as a team, we're this is the moments that we live for. It's gonna be like a million degrees there coming on Saturday. How are you preparing now for that moment? Well, fall camp prepared us all for that. Fall camp was was no breeze at all. It was very hot, and um, you know, Coach O didn't take a light us light on us on all, at all. You know, for this very reason. So I know we're ready. The heat won't won't play a factor in in our defense or offense mentioned it a little bit a second ago, just being prepared for everything. How good is Dave Aranda at that, that making sure nothing catches you guys off guard? Well, Dave Aranda is second to none at what he does. You know, I come here during the day when I don't have class. He's in here drawing stuff on the board. If he sees me walking down the hall, he's going to pull me in. 
draws up different stuff, asks me, asks me how I feel about it, you know, different ideas. He's just always thinking, and I, he's the major part to our success.